Well, hey, how are you doing, mates? My name is Isaac, and I'm really glad to be here with you again. I hope you are too. You're gonna play the Italian Jab. This is a game that it's based on a film from 1968. I don't remember the year of the movie, but this is based on that. And it's actually pretty similar to Driver, because it's just about driving. <laughs> As you might see, little and pretty beautiful cars from the 60s. I love them. I wish they still do them like them. At least like style-wise. I know, well, I do like a lot the new ones too. Uh, but I love them and we should go straight play it, <laughs> I guess. I really liked it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with London. It's the first level. It's the first city too. And we're gonna start there. Don't remember too much about it. Just remember I liked it. I liked it more than the driver one, I think. Because in this one, at least, I went far, <laughs> story-wise. I mean, I didn't even complete the tutorial game for the driving win. This one it was different. Okay. All right. Dang it. The Italian Mafia found out about it. And well, they didn't like the idea. No. Well, I'll finish my time at Her Majesty's pleasure, and Lorna is on her way to pick me up for the prison gates. Touching scene, isn't it? The problem is, that silly cow has gone and borrowed the bloody Pakistani ambassador's car. Okay. I have got to get over to Marvin's to pick up the motor, and I could do without any attention from the law. It's going to be bloody difficult to get across London in this thing. It's going to get bloody difficult to get in London in this thing. Yeah, I forgot. We are British, everyone. Oh, I like this transition, too. Alright. Alright. All right, we're British, everyone. Like the motor? Hello, Charlie. Do you like the motor? I for I remember about this. Okay. Uh, Control-wise, it's more metric. Oh no, darling! Ah, and I don't have any... Forget about it. <laughs> I was going to say I didn't have any damage bar. I just saw it. Uh, sh I should be talking like a British man. But I really don't got the accent that well. I don't know how to... Copy it that much. I'm sorry. Oh. Lose the cops. Okay. I was back in there. Um I mean I can try to talk as a British, but I think it's going to be a little quench. Because I'm talking as PewDiePie actually. <laughs> Not any British at all. And bloody mate, it's going to be a heck in the ass if I'm gonna do it. Because there are a lot of different accents in British. Britain. <laughs> so it's going to be difficult. I've never talked to a British person before. Like, wait, I have. Now I remember about it. I, I like a lot of the voices. I love Harry Potter. Uh, when I went to the UK, they were pretty nice. I didn't need fish and chips. Out of time? Well, you told me to get lost of the police. But I guess... What what else choice do I have? I wanted to skip it! Come on. I love it, and I love you. I think it's quite important... ...to notice that... ...maybe I can take another route. Uh... 
like I don't know no maybe I can try to uh, and I oh is that like the police Mitas, because we use Mitas in here, you know that. Miles, no, we use a metric system as everyone else in the world. For kind Americans, that's kind of French, actually. I lose the lose the police. I lost it already. Who's following me? No one. I already got an end. Uh, I don't care. Open, please. Nan four. Nan forty. What is that? Nan forty four. Four. Your neck. Oh God. Okay. At least I know. Oh. Bloody hell. At least I know what I have to do now. Britain is gonna sue me because I'm doing bad accents. I am sorry. Have lovable accents, but I cannot do it right. Oh, darling. It's the police! What you gonna do about it? Well, I think I'm gonna grab your ass and then try to... Hey, I think I know this place. Seen it in movies, or not? What are you doing, man? Oh, dang it. What are you doing? Take it easy. Does the timer actually count for something? Like, I quite not understand it. The controls, they're fine, I guess. It's better than the driver ones. Um, I don't know how to get rid of the police, though. Wish they could tell me when I lose them. It's not like in Grand Theft, Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> That's how they call it, right? Grand Theft Auto. I already lost it. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> I straight crashed it into the garage. Okay. Ooh. I guess I kind of crashed a little in my good garage. I don't know why I kind of talk like a French. When I talk in London, I guess because it's a European. I don't know. <laughs> and actually, they don't even use the R for the days, but I don't know. Um, how are we gonna do it? I don't know how many times I've been here. Um, so just for now, I'm gonna. Um, I don't know why I do that voice. I could do my <laughs> my voice, and that's it. I mean, like tune talking. But I'm gonna leave this episode there, and then I think. It's going to be lovable in this journey if you can join me. So pardon me for my awful British accent. That's all the better I can do. But right now, I'm going to leave this episode here. Alright, so thank you. Well, alright, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, I would truly appreciate that. I would truly appreciate that you would give it a like for me. If you could do that, that would be awesome. It would be lovable. It would be amazing. It would be pretty excellent, marvelous. It would be like my dream come true. So, I'll see you in the next episode with another pretty bad British accent. Maybe I will see a Harry Potter movie in order for you to see my well better accent because of my great Danny Radcliffe professor of Britain. So, until then, shkadunk! 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 How would that be in British? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs>